Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing some lead nitrate, one of the most readily available salts of lead and demonstrating its physical and chemical properties. Lead 2 nitrate is very easily synthesized by the action of nitric acid on lead metal, especially the dilute nitric acid. We will not be going according to the exact stoichiometry as we need a little excess of nitric acid to prevent the formation of basic lead nitrate. So the materials required include metallic lead and nitric acid. We start by measuring 19 grams of lead metal pieces. I am using some lead bullets which are used in air pistols. I am pretty sure they are mainly pure lead metal so I am expecting much purer lead to nitrate salt. I have already measured out 25 milliliters of concentrated 67% nitric acid in this beaker. Now I add the lead metal shots into the nitric acid. You can see that actually nothing is happening now. Few bubbles here and there, probably the trapped air inside the bullets, otherwise pretty much dormant. After about 2 minutes, you can see some brownish discoloration and some fumes are released. The reaction is slowly getting into action. What is happening here is, lead metal reacts with nitric acid to form lead 2 nitrate, nitrogen dioxide and water. To induce the reaction faster, I decided to heat the beaker. On heating, the reaction is starting to get vigorous. Diluted nitric acid has much more action on lead metal than the concentrated one. So I added 10 milliliters of distilled water and continued heating. You can see that reaction is getting pretty vigorous now and lot of nitrogen dioxide gas which is that brown gas is being released. Nitrogen dioxide is toxic so avoid inhaling the vapors. Do it outside in a well ventilated area or in a fume hood. You can see that after some time the reaction came to a standstill, even though we have unreacted lead metal and nitric acid in it. That is because the lead metal pieces were buried by the precipitated lead to nitrate. So I added more amount of distilled water to dissolve the lead to nitrate salt and started giving good stirring to ensure that lead pieces are not buried by the salt. And you can see that the reaction is proceeding well now. This is yet another reason for using diluted nitric acid instead of the concentrated one. After all the lead pieces have reacted, we are left with this clear solution with some undissolved lead to nitrate. So I decided to dissolve them by adding few milliliters of distilled water and then I started to heat the beaker to dissolve all the lead to nitrate salt. Now we take it out from the heating source and set it aside for cooling. On cooling, crystals of lead to nitrate starts to separate out. You can also see some crust formation and white crystalline solid in the bottom of the beaker. This is the yield from the first crop of crystals. I decided to boil down the mother liquor further and cool to obtain more crystals. And this is the second crop. Yet again, I did a third crystallization hoping to squeeze out every bit of salt. Finally, I obtained 26 grams of lead 2 nitrate which corresponds to a percent yield of 85. Now let us see some properties of lead 2 nitrate. Lead 2 nitrate is a white crystalline solid and is very well soluble in water forming a clear solution with solubility being 376.5 grams per liter at 0 degree Celsius 
597 grams per liter at 25 degrees Celsius and 1270 grams per liter at 100 degrees Celsius. Lead 2 nitrate reacts with sodium hydroxide forming a white precipitate of lead 2 hydroxide. The initially formed lead 2 hydroxide precipitate gets dissolved due to excess of sodium hydroxide to form a colorless solution which is called sodium plumbate 2, as you can see in the reaction. Lead 2 nitrate also reacts with potassium iodide solution to give a bright yellow precipitate of lead iodide. This is usually demonstrated as the classical golden rain experiment where lead iodide is dissolved in hot water and on cooling it crystallizes out in beautiful golden yellow color. I have already done this video on golden rain experiment. I will put up a link in the description. Lead 2 nitrate reacts with potassium chromate solution giving a yellow precipitate of lead 2 chromate. Lead nitrate also reacts with ammonium sulphate which is a displacement reaction here forming lead sulphate which is a white precipitate. Finally we come to the classic experiment the thermal decomposition of lead to nitrate. I have taken 1 gram of lead 2 nitrate in the test tube and I am heating it on a Bunsen burner flame holding the test tube in slanting position. After some time we can hear this characteristic popping sound. And soon you start seeing a brown colored fume. What is happening here is lead 2 nitrate is getting thermally decomposed to form lead oxide, nitrogen dioxide which is the brown gas and oxygen gas. We can test for the presence of oxygen gas by inserting a glowing splinter into the test tube and as you can see it gets reignited as oxygen produced in the reaction is a supporter of combustion. A lot of brownish nitrogen dioxide gas is evolved which is toxic as I said before. You can also see the contents in the test tube has melted down. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments, including this one. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my future videos.